Hello everyone, it's Greg. I'm glad to be back. I'm going to start doing more content here for Dice Throne and what's coming out soon here is Dice Throne Adventures. Uh, what kind of brought me back here uh, was things have started kind of slowing down for my wife and I. Uh, 2020 obviously has hit a lot of people, infected people differently. Uh, we ended up moving um, and we ended up upgrading a little bit. But uh, what kind of got me back into starting doing content again was a couple days ago, a person from the Dice Throne community, AJ Falk, uh, made a comment on Facebook for the Dice Throne community and said that he's going to start doing a podcast. And he was asking for people to comment about suggestions of what to have it on and who wanted to be on his podcast as guest. So I'm like, eh, why not? Um, I was off that day for work, so I decided to uh, contact him, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. And so I told him about a couple ideas, and the one that stuck was the Paladin, and how the Paladin operated his uh, good and not as good things about him. And he decided to take me on, and I was actually on his very first uh, podcast for the Dice Throne podcast. So I uh, highly suggest you go check it out, follow him, subscribe to him. Uh, very friendly person, and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, I, this is not to take away from what he's doing at all. And in fact, I hope he does a fantastic job that a lot of people follow and enjoy the content that he's going to be putting out here in the future. And I hope he does way better uh, than me and my content because um, ideally I'm doing well and ideally he would be doing even better. And on uh, this game is fa very friendly oriented, family oriented, and uh, I'm not looking to compete at all, but just provide uh, supplemental content for Dice Room. Um, the way that I got into it, into Dice Room was Back in 2018, uh, for Christmas, I found this Dice Throne game, which you're seeing in front of you right now, and it looked pretty cool. I'm like, wow, that artwork on the box looks really cool. I'm checking out a little bit. I'm like, okay, so it's Yahtzee, but you're battling it out, you're rolling dice, uh, changing the dice with cards, trying to beat the other person down to zero. Okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm interested in it. So I asked for it for Christmas, and... Uh, was lucky enough to get it from my parents and so we opened it up Christmas Day in the morning and whatnot and come later that day actually that night right around I don't know nine o'clock ten o'clock at night uh, get to my wife Michaela and we're like, hey do you want to break this out and see what it uh, looks like and play a couple games um, and we're like yeah why not so we broke it out, looked it over the rules. The rules were really simple to follow. Um, you roll dice three times, just like Yahtzee, and you try to make matches to what you have on your player board. So, okay, sounds good. And all of a sudden, it was 2 a.m. Uh, we played every single character multiple times. These games last 20 to 40 minutes, and it was so much fun. Um, and we have continued to play it throughout, uh, since now or till now, and we'll continue to, and it was just so much fun to roll the dice and uh, try to get that one combo or that one die roll to do your ultimate attack on someone. Uh, it was beyond fun and the organization of the game itself, how everything really stacked up nice. Uh, the artwork was fantastic. Uh, enjoyed rolling dice, a whole lot of fun. And so, of course, we uh, go went ahead and backed the Season 2 Dice Throne, and we got the battle chest for that. That added eight more characters, and the product was just even better. Uh, the, it was just fantastic. We thought it was already a good game, and then they just went ahead and made it better. The organization, so much better. And now they're coming out with the Dice Throne Adventures, and we're like, well, we have to back this. And they're making the content and product even better, uh, which is just mind boggling for me. Um, I love this game. This is probably my favorite game. Um, this is just fantastic. I'm really excited for Dice Throne Adventures. So that's how I got into Dice Throne. 
Um, I'd be more than interested to hear how you got into it, how long you've been playing, how you've been doing any tournaments, or you're new to the game, what have you. Um, this channel is oriented more towards those that are newer to the game, that want to learn more about it than those that are advanced players. But if you are advanced, i uh, be happy to get your comments in on something and your ideas on what the content uh, is providing. Uh, originally in this game, uh, as on the box says, was created by Nate Chandler and Manny Tremblay. And then came along Gavin Brown as well and Roxley. And they have a fantastic business idea. Um, and I've never heard of bad business from them at all if there has any been if there's ever been any product uh, issues those product issues have been uh, satisfied for the customer um, every single time um, when you manufacture a lot of dice a lot of product you're obviously going to have those uh, misfits for product and they take care of it every single time in fact they're so customer friendly if you get onto the Dice Throne Facebook page or Dice Throne community page, you can talk to them um, and leave the comment of like, hey, how do I do this? Or I have a bad product, what have you. Um, you can talk to them and they'll talk to you. It's, it's not a huge deal. Uh, they're very friendly. Um, so go ahead and reach out to them. A um, whole lot of goodness coming from this game, from this company, um, from the creators. So uh this what this channel what i'm going to be bringing out to you in the future is going to be talking about news from dice throne what's coming up uh what's what's happening with maybe the kickstarter that has finished and they're they're finishing up getting uh finalizing it all to be shipped uh this is going to be a very informative uh channel i've looked at a lot of games a lot of youtubes uh, videos over different games and whatnot and I want to bring more of a news to it it's kind of like the podcast that AJ is doing I really don't want to take away from what he's doing at all and uh, he's going to be doing a fantastic job I know it's and if he ever wanted uh, if I uh, asked him to come on and uh, maybe play a game or something online and then talk about it afterwards for the YouTube I think that would be uh, really fun to do um, different ways that you can access this game um, is either through buying it through uh, Amazon, any online marketing, what have you, or going to like a Barnes & Noble, um, maybe a Target, Walmart, what have you, major retailers, they may, they may have this game. Uh, I'm about eight minutes right now. This is about as much as I want to do for this uh, revamping of this channel for Dice Throne. My next video, I'm gonna be talking about more of how to access Dice Throne, different ways to purchase it, what may be the right fit for you. I'm also gonna be talking about Dice Throne Adventures, what's happening now, what's gonna be coming up soon, what to look forward to. So uh, stay tuned. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button notification uh, if you want to stay up to date with content for Dice Throne and Dice Throne Adventures. Thank you.